Hello guys, welcome back to the bench and today we're going to be going over the waterfall spray booth uh, Just a quick test um, It's actually in another room. We'll uh, take a tour there and show you where it's set up um, And uh, I'll show you it so far I can't do a long-term test as I just started using it But I want to show you guys the uh, quick ins and outs of it and uh, to show you um, How it works and uh, also a couple of announcements to make First of all, we're going to have a giveaway today. We're going to give away this Barbatos Master Grade Kit. It's awesome. I got a couple of these in the inventory. You know, one I want to build standard for my wife. She uh, she loves uh, Iron Blooded Orphans. She loves the Barbatos. So I'm going to make one just as it looks in the anime. And then I'm going to use one for a custom build. But uh, I actually have a third. So what I'm going to do is we're going to give one away. And all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below and one week from today Friday I'm gonna draw a name I beg of you please <laughs> be aware that uh, next Friday you announce what's coming because I'm gonna pick the computer's gonna pick a name and I'm gonna call you I'm actually I'm gonna uh, reply to you reply to your comment and look for your replies and then uh, you'll know that you won and then we'll exchange info and I'll get this baby sent out to you so please please be aware the giveaway is coming up and um, it'll be between uh, Friday uh, towards the end of the week uh, you know Friday the latest um, depends how the week's going but we'll aim for Friday and uh, it won't be any later than that so please be aware and look for a, a reply to your comment so like the video comment below and subscribe um, another announcement before I go show you the booth quick is I am coming out with a lineup of lacquer paints um, Yes, I got a lineup of lacquer paints, hopefully within two, three weeks. I think I should be able to show you guys a nice batch of colors. Also included, I'm going to have a set of colored primers. And uh, the primers will work with both my enamel line and the lacquer line. And an acrylic line also. And um, the lacquers, I'm going to do mostly primary colors. Some of the metallics and some fancy colors are thrown in there. Not going to be a huge line. There's uh, many colors already in the enamel line. Um, but these are going to be airbrush ready. No thinning. A bigger bottle. Just put it right in the airbrush and you're ready to go. In fact, here's some colors I'm sampling now. Kind of a uh, teal frost here. Check out this uh, beautiful sapphire blue. Is that beautiful? That's over black. Look at that. That's straight out of the, uh, right out of the jar into the airbrush. So that's what I'm working on. I might have a peach color. I'm, I'm working on some unique colors. So uh, pretty exciting times. Um, that'll be part of the Air Force lineup. Um, it still says Mecha Empire, but it says the Air Force underneath, meaning it's for airbrushing. Anyway, we're going to take a little bit of a tour here. I have to grab everything, the microphone, which is a lapel mic, and I'm going to take this off the stand, and we're going to walk you over to the other room and uh, show you the waterfall spray booth. So let me pause the camera, unhook this, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are free from our boundaries. Sorry if there's any kind of a shaky cam. I'm in the middle of rebuilding the room, so to speak. That's the booth we always head over to. There's all the spoons. Um, what I did was I took down many of my uh, kits. Hold on. It, they were in this corner. It was a stack of models. I took them out and put a shelf in the other room. So I can actually go on and put a shelf here with all the colors I've yet to test. I mean, look at the colors. It's just building up. I don't have a spot to put my lineup yet. I'm working on space up here, down underneath. I got this spindle, which apparently, yeah, it fits the Wicked colors perfectly. And I have a full set of Wicked colors. So this is a nice place for storage. This is actually getting redone. I got these types of shelves that will hold my paints. I'm gonna put those on that so I can hold a lot more, just like you can see up here. And my other set over here. Um, this is the set of shelves that I rebuilt when it crashed and I got lighting under there. Look how nice. Look at that. Both sets. Hold on. Let's show you under here. Yeah, that's all my thinners. Look at all my thinners. All my primers and spray cans. And up here is all the Tamiya sprays, tester sprays, and up there is all stuff I haven't even tested yet. And here's some more of my kits. A little bit of a grand tour, a little bit of a mess down here. All this has to be tested, organized, but it's all going to be gone within a week. We're going to neaten everything up. All my car kits are underneath. Look at this collection of SMS, all clads, splash. Look at that. That's fantastic. 
Isn't that great? Um, up there is my Gaia paints. More kits up here. More kits, more paint here. Anyway, let's uh, take a stroll. All right. Out here, you can see some more posters. More posters. All right. Check this out. More storage was needed. Just the spillover of stuff I've yet to test. Stuff I've tested. None of this has been tested yet. This is the shelf I just put up. And put all those kits on. Here's my back storage. My stash, as you will. Check that out. All the Star Wars stuff is up here. I'm going to get everything organized as far as master grades and uh, high grades go. Here's all my cars. Military stuff above. But here it is. The magical waterfall spray booth. Alright? I'm going to test it with this can of spray paint because I think that will show it better on camera than just misting it in. But uh, this is it in all its glory. This is it closed up. Alright? Now I'm going to have to do this by hand. So forgive me. But here we go. This clip. See this clip? This is how you open it to work on the pump and fill it up with water. And when you go to clean it, it's all closed up right now. We're going to come around here and show you the other clip. Both sides have one. That's it. Now what you do is... I should show you from this side. All right, here we go. See it? It's got pistons in it that hold it up. And there you go. Now it's hard for me to get in there to show you. Let me see if I can do it like this. There you go. These are car filters. This is for the fans. These are the twin fans that spin. Can you see it spinning? It's got twin fans. These are beautiful. These are, these are the nicest fans I've ever dealt with um, as far as power and uh, quietness. They're just nice and quiet. I love them. Um, if I didn't use this, I would actually pull these fans out and use them on their own. But you can see the pump in the middle and see the water in there. You pour the water in there. Make sure you put up enough to cover up the pump up to around here. And then it pours down into this valley. And this is, pull this up, and in there is the water filter. You can see I've tested some of the paint already. See the red? I'll show you the filter in a second when, uh, when we go through our first test. All right, let me show you how you close this thing. All right, hold on, guys. I'm trying to hold the mic. This is an awkward piece to work with. But see the pistons, how it holds it up, how nice? Now we're just going to push it down. It closes up nice. All right. Now we're going to reseal it here, and then uh, I'm going to put it on the tripod so the camera will be steady in a second for the test before we wrap this up. All right, that's that. Let me show you above. This is the exhaust, and you can see it in there. There's more filtering in here, too. Um, the other ones are the ones you can change, and they're auto filters, and they're pretty cheap, too. So I'm kind of impressed with that. All right, main switch. Here's the power. This is the main power. Lights up. And one turns on the waterfall, and this turns on the fan. And you can dial the, the strength of the fan. And I can put on full blast, and you can hear every word I'm saying. It's fantastic. All right, let me show you opening this up, and then I'm going to pause it and put the camera on a tripod. Here we go. Here's what happens. See this? This is the plastic hood, so to speak. I'm going to hold it up. And this is the leg that holds it down. See it? Now let me uh, show you what we're going to do here. We're going to zoom out a little bit. And here we go. There's one side here. See it? And it just it comes up and holds itself up. It's got a magnet here. And this, I'll show you what that is in a minute. Open up the side here. That's it. It's up. Now to protect you, you can leave it open. I think I would leave it open. I'm used to it being open. But see the top folds down? One, two. So see now you can airbrush and you're completely protected. What happens here is this rest right here on these little clips. See them? A little clip. And it comes with a light. Um, I wasn't able to plug it in yet because it's a USB plug. See the strip light? It goes right on top. Right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this light. This is a rechargeable USB light with a magnet. See it? And you got different strengths of lighting. It, it, it sits right up here perfectly. Watch this. Look at that. And there you go. I got my light. All right. We're going to turn all this on in a sec. Let me put the uh, camera on a tripod. Let me show you it all assembled. See it? Look at that. 
And then uh, I'm going to show you guys how this works. Let me put this on pause, grab the tripod, and show you this thing in action. All right, guys, here we are. We have everything on the tripod. Uh, let's get some of these kits out of the way so you can kind of see the booth clear. You can actually see through the booth my chip foos model in the back there. It's all see-through. Here's where the water comes down. It's a glass back. It comes across here in a sheet. Now, what happens is sometimes I don't get the full sheet, and I'll turn it off and back on again, and then I get it. It gathers itself right here into this filter and goes back underneath and back up and you get the clean water. And that's how it works. Let me lift up this front shield. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to turn her on. All right. Now, see what I mean by I don't, I'm not getting the full sheet? What I did was I kind of coaxed it down. And um, it comes out good once I get... Here it goes. There it is. And it stays that way. Once you get the sheath of water, it actually will stay that way. It doesn't really splash much either. It's splashing more for me trying to get it going. You know, um, I keep a paper towel rack right next to me. But it doesn't matter because uh, you want a lot of, a little bit to be a little wet anyway. It keeps everything from sticking. Now I'm going to show you the fan. These two fans here. Ready? They're on low. I'm going to turn them up. I'm going to turn them all the way up. And that's it. it. Sounds like a plane taking off. It's probably even quieter if I cover it up, but you guys cannot believe the, the coming out of this top, how powerful that is. I should have put the old balloon up there that would have spun around. It's really powerful. This, these, these two fans really draw a lot of air. If they had this spray booth without the waterfall it would be still great it's still great because that's how great that's how powerful these fans are I'm going to lower it a little bit don't really need it going and um, you can see how I, I lost the, the sheathing and um, let me show you what happens when we turn it off and on again And I did. I got really good luck the second time I do it. Um, there it is. The problem is, is I haven't used it a lot yet, but uh, you know, the first test went pretty well. So uh, while going into uh, much more with the booth, let's go ahead and spray some polycarbonate bright red from Tamiya. I just want to show you how it gathers up. All right, here we go. You see it coming right off? Now I don't know. Uh, let's try. I'm gonna try uh, some testers paint too. But this is probably made more for airbrushes. But I want to use this because you can you can kind of see it better, you know. And all of it is actually pouring down. I'll try to see if it sticks. It's all pouring down into here, you know. But I'm seeing that it does stick. So you're gonna have to somehow get this pouring all the way down. Sorry guys, just cleaning as I go. Um, and that's it. Let's try and turn it off and on again. Oh, there it goes. Now watch. I get to show it to you gathering down there. All right. Let me get another spray can, a different style, maybe in, a, in, a, in enamel, and we'll see the difference. All right, I got this uh, fluorescent red from Tamiya. This is the, their acrylic. Yeah, it doesn't, it's much better than the, uh, the polycarbonate for some reason, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if this sticks. Yeah, it seems to be sticking, but I understand that that's probably how it works. You know, it's going to get dirty. Just like my booth. You know, my uh, regular spray booth. So it, it comes right off. But I don't think it's going to matter. I think that's just how it works. You know, these aren't for beauty. They're for, you know... It's a tool. It's going to work as it's got to work. Alright guys, I'm going to disconnect this. Let me turn off the fan. And I want to show you where it's gathering. You ready? Hold on. Let me get in there a little bit. 
Hold on, guys. I gotta disconnect the microphone. I got a lapel mic here. I'm gonna clip it to the booth. Hold on, guys. One second. There we go. Okay. That's it. Let's see if I can get you a better shot here. And there's all the paint. And what it does is it ends up going into a filter. And I'm gonna pull it out in a second and I'm gonna show you the filter now. All right, let's turn it off. And let it drain out. And it catches all the water. And I'm not sure how to dispose of it yet. You know, I'm guessing, uh, is it the toilet or? I don't know. I just don't know yet. All right, guys. Light is down. And here's what happens. We're going to pull out this drawer, and I'm going to show you right now where the water comes out. All right, and here we go. And there it is. See it? And here's the filter right in the middle. Look at that. And you pull this filter out after, uh, I think, um, it, it's hard to show you. It comes out. It's a metal filter. You can see right here it's bent. And, that, and you pick this up and all the paint stays in that filter and you just dump it out. You know, I use, uh, when I dispose of my stuff, I use a, whatchamacallit, uh, when you change your oil. You ever seen the oil change kits, guys? It's one of those. And it absorbs all the paint, and I put it in that, and then that's what I dump it in. Um, all right, guys, let me pause this and uh, set it back up. All right, guys, that's it. I popped it all back open, and um, that's it. I got to go long-term with it. Um, it seems like a lot more work than I'm used to. Um, it is quiet. It is quiet. It seems to do its job. It pulls all the paint. All that normally would have gone through a filter. And I believe this is the filter, and that's for the smells. And that goes out the back through the openings under here. And out the top and uh, personally I would like to get these out of here and put them into a, a, a booth um, but that's just me I'm, I'm uh, set up differently I know uh, a friend of a friend has one of these and um, they love it. it it's in their apartment and they just love it they said it, it just works good and it's quiet which is really convenient um, and it keeps the smell down so I mean there you go. There's no filter pads to buy. I think these will wash out and it looks like they'll last a long time as those filters are only gathering pretty much the smell and not so much the particles. This is gathering the particles. Um, I don't like the way that some of the paint will stick to this. That would drive me crazy, but that's, you know, that's me. This is glass, by the way, guys. This is glass. This isn't. This is. So um, from this, you can take a razor blade and just clean that off, you know, monthly, weekly, whatever it is. It'll come right off. Um, but anyway, that, that's it. That's the booth. They're uh, they're under four hundred bucks. I want to thank uh, Bella at Robot Kai. She sent me this to try. I greatly appreciate it. I love booths. I have another booth coming in. Uh, I'm going to be testing that actually pulls the air traditionally, but from the bottom. No, no, and the vent goes out the bottom underneath the bench as opposed to out the top. And uh, but I do love these fans. Whatever these fans are, uh, I'm a fan of for those. Um, I like those a lot. Anyway, guys, let's head back to the bench and uh, let's wrap this up. All right, guys, there you go. A little bit of a room tour, a little bit of a giveaway. Sneak peek at some new paints coming out in my lacquer lineup, my Air Force lineup. And I showed you the waterfall spray booth. Not bad. Kind of a quick video as far as I go. Sorry, guys, going to move the camera. For, for me, anyway. Well, the next couple are going to be big. I got to test Odincon paints. I have to test... Uh, the AOK -okay paints, and I got the huge, massive shootout of all the white paint I could get. I do apologize, I'm gonna miss some, you know. I mean, I might get a, a, an acrylic ink or an alcohol ink, you know, a Liquitex or one of them. I might do an ink. Other than that, that's the last thing I need to get. So, the white paint shootout is coming, and it's coming soon. So, the next three tests will be airbrush color test, it will be AOK, -okay, Odincon, and the white. I don't know the order. But that's what's coming up. Anyway, guys, don't forget, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Please be sure to subscribe, too, because a lot of stuff coming up. And once we have 50,000, it's kind of a milestone that I'm trying to aim for. And uh, you can win this awesome. And by the way, this is an awesome kit.
this Barbatos kit. Very good kit. And um, you don't want to miss out on that. Like I said, please pay attention to your comments. It's going to be about a week, but you will be getting this kit should you get picked. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I'm going to try and get another video up in the next few days. I'll put up a, a notice so you guys know that it's coming. And uh, I want you guys to have a great weekend. It's starting to get nice weather up here in New England, which is great for once. And um, please, guys, I will see you in the next video.